Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your favorite AI assistant like ChatGPT or Claude to Retail's AI voice agent MCP server so that it can make real phone calls for you. And this is super cool and it's going to completely change voice agents for a few reasons. First, instead of sending a text or sending an email, your AI can pick up the phone, sound human, and handle conversations end-to-end. -end. All of that can be handled directly through your phone just by either talking or texting, which means higher engagement and fewer drop leads. Second key point is that it turns your static data into real dialogue, where you have all of this customer's info, you have their purchase history, preferences, appointment times. It's all sitting in a database, right? By connecting that database with your AI voice agent, it can now reference that in real time. I mean, for me, and one of the things that I really like about it is that it automates repetitive tasks that kill your productivity. If you have the proper automations in place, you can automate appointment reminders. You can set up reviews if you're a local service business. Pretty much all the follow-up calls that you hate doing yourself can now run themselves. You get your time back, your team focuses on higher value work, all while never missing a call. So in this video, we're going to be going over some cool use cases, how you can set this up for yourself. So for this, you will need Claude desktop. So go ahead, open this up. Then we're going to come up here. We're going to click in the top left corner. You're going to go file settings and click on the developer tab. Now, if this is your first time, you will have the option to either edit config or to set up. So in my case, I already have it an N8N server. So we're just going to click on edit config. Now within here, you'll see the Claude desktop config. So we're just going to open that up. If you scroll down a little bit in the documentation, you're going to see this line of code. So we're going to need this. And if you click on visit the retail AI MCP server MPM page, you'll come right here. So we're going to copy this and we're going to drop it in here. Now, last thing you're going to need is your retail AI token. So just go ahead, hop in to your API key section within retail. You can just add a new key and give it a name like MCP. Now that key was created. So go ahead and copy that key and you can just paste it in right here. Hit save and close this completely. From there, you're going to restart your Claude desktop app. And when it opens back up, so you can see here when we opened it up, it said could not attach to MCP server. And that's because we need to do this next step, which is setting up and installing the dependencies. So there's one extra step here, which is we're going to have to download Node.js. Just go ahead and install that. And we'll just wait for this to complete. Okay, so after you have downloaded Node.js, the next thing that we need to do is follow this next set of instructions, which are the setup. I just went and opened up PowerShell, so I'm on Windows, but open up whatever works for you. Then I'm running the following command to create a project folder. And then we're going to enter that folder. So now you can see we are in that folder. So now we're going to create the project structure. Uh, this is powered by Node. So you're going to enter in the following command, which is mpx space y. So you're going to run the following command. This will go create the project structure. You can see that's what's happening right now. So you can see right here, we need the retail API environment variable. So if you come into your retail AI MCP server, you'll see that there's a .m file. So you're going to go open that. And then right in here, you're just going to drop in your API key from retail. And then you're going to say, so let's open up Cloud. And we're going to restart our Cloud server. So go ahead, reopen Cloud. And if everything works well, when we click here, you should see retail AI MCP server. And we have access to all our tools. So now we could say, so create me an agent that is able to call for upcoming outages in my area. So look at this. It's going, it's creating the retail LLM. And then after that, so here we go. It's coming up with the general prompt, the different roles, the model to use. After that, it's going, it's grabbing the list of voices so that it can create a voice for the agent. Then it's gone. It's created the agent. There you go. Your outage agent has now been completed. What this agent does, how to use it. So now we could say, please make an outbound call to, and I'm going to put in my phone number and it's going to call me. So now you can see when to create the phone call, but then it's like, Hey, I need a valid phone number. It lists listed the phone numbers. Boom. Now the phone call is coming in. I'm going to answer it. Hi, thank you for calling about plan. Hello. Thank you for reaching out. How can I assist you today? Could you please provide your address or service area so I can check for any planned outages or maintenance in your area? Yeah, I live in downtown Montreal. Thank you for letting me know. Let me check if there are any planned outages or maintenance scheduled for downtown Montreal. Currently, I don't see any specific outages or maintenance scheduled for your area. However, for the most up-to-date information, I recommend checking our website or mobile app where we post real-time updates. You can also call us back anytime if you have further questions. If there is an outage in the future, here are some tips to prepare. 
Charge your devices in advance. Have flashlights. So you get the idea, guys. I mean, it's not perfect, but the fact that with two prompts, I was able to create a full retail agent and then place that phone call directly to my phone is absolutely wild. I could go one step further, tell it to create tools for me, you know, do a lot of really complex things that now otherwise would have taken me a lot longer to at least prototype. And now it's just simply typing in prompts, refining your agent like that, and it'll go and literally update your prompts. It'll create the tools for you. It'll do everything that you need to do because it has access to retail's MCP. So extremely powerful. And this is just the start. So imagine six months, a year from now, how powerful this is going to be. MCP is going to be an absolute game changer. It already is. And with time, it's only going to get better and better. So if you did find value in this video, consider dropping a subscribe. It's free, helps support the channel, and allows me to continue making videos like this. And with that being said, hope you have an incredible rest of your day. Catch you on the next one. Peace.